What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be sharing a couple CBO scaling strategies that I've used to make a lot of money. Now CBOs are still pretty new and um, I really haven't gotten a full like strategy that works super super well which is why I haven't made too many videos on them but I have really found three scaling strategies that seem to be working extremely consistently for me and um, I've kind of figured out all the guidelines and like what you need to do uh, with these scaling strategies to make it the most effective. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you today and I really hope that you get as much value out of it as I think that you will. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so now we're gonna be hopping to my computer and talking about the specific CBOs uh, that you can use to scale your Facebook ads. All right, so before we hop into this, I just wanna say this is not my ad account. I'm actually gonna be showing one of my students' ad accounts who's doing incredibly well right now. Um, he's basically scaled from you know a couple hundred dollars a day to three to 4,000 a day in under a month. So um, some incredible results using especially these CBO strategies. Um, and we're gonna talk about and show you so that you can see exactly how it looks inside of Ads Manager. All right, so the first CBO that we're gonna be talking about is a $100 CBO that has 10 ad sets in it. Now, these 10 ad sets are going to be your 10 best performing ad sets. So if you're currently testing in like an ad set budget or like a different campaign or anything like that, if you have 10 audiences that are doing very well, it could be lookalike audiences, it could be interest, it could be whatever, then um, I would recommend that you throw them in a CBO at $100 a day and see how it does. Now, the only things I would recommend is that you have at least 10 purchases on each of those ad sets uh, just because you don't really want to have something that's like not consistent. Like if you get a couple days the first or like if you get a couple sales the first day running an audience, like I mean that's a good sign, um, but it really doesn't mean a whole lot as far as consistency goes. And when you're putting these ad sets in a budget that's like way higher than they're used to, then um, you better be sure that it's an ad set or an audience that's going to be consistent for you. All right, so as you can see, this top 10 CBO has a 3.45 return on ad spend and over 260 purchases. So if you go and look at the ad sets, you can see that there's only like five running right now, um, but there is like a ton that have been tested in the past. Now, um, once an ad set becomes unprofitable, what I would recommend doing is duplicating that ad set and then replacing it with something different. Um, like a different audience that's doing well for you, but if you don't have a different audience um, that is doing well for you that's not already in that campaign, then you can just go ahead and kill that ad set. Now, like I said, you're welcome to combine lookalike audiences and interests inside of the CBO, but I have actually tested an interest, like just interest CBO and a just lookalike audience CBO, and that seemed to do very, very well for me. Um, so if you do have like, you know, 10 ad sets that are working very well, that are interest or lookalike audiences, then um, I would recommend just testing those in a specific campaign. Now, if you don't have 10, which you probably will not, then um, you can always test using the smaller ad set CBOs that we're about to talk about. So with that being said, um, once a CBO is doing very well for up to like four to five days, I usually say, um, if it's doing well, super profitable at $100 a day, then you can up the budget 25%. So you can keep continuing that process every four to five days um, until you get to a point where it's non-profitable. The same goes if it's like losing its profitability. Like if it's not profitable off the bat after like $50 spent um, or if there's really no signs of it being profitable, like no purchases and stuff like that, then I'll just go ahead and kill it. However, if it starts out profitable and the results kind of start to decrease, um, then you can always decrease the budget by 25% every two to three days. 
Okay, so the next audience that we're gonna talk about is a top five CBO. This is basically where you take your top five performing audiences that all have over 10 purchases and you throw them all in a CBO running at $50 a day. As you can see, this got some pretty incredible results with a four return on ad spend and this campaign is still going. So the rules of this CBO are basically the exact same for the 10 ad set CBO that we just talked about. Um, the only really advantage to using this one is that if you don't have 10 good performing ad sets, then um, you know you can make it work with five. And as you can see here, like there's only four running at the moment. Um, you know, personally, what I would do is I would copy one of the um, you know, one of the active ad sets and replace it with a different audience just so that you have five going, but um, you can get by with four. All right, so the last CBO that we're gonna be talking about is kind of a lower budget, lower ad set CBO for people that don't have a lot of data. Um, this is good when audience has started to show potential, but you may not have 10 purchases yet, um, but you still think that they can do really, really well. So for this, um, it's a three ad set $20 CBO. Um, again, it just starts at $20. If it's doing well after a couple of days, you can scale that up. Um, but anyway, like I said, this is like, you don't necessarily need 10 purchases on all three of these audiences. Obviously it would help, but um, I, you really don't need as much data for this. It's kind of lower risk, lower reward. Um, this CBO is averaging like a lower return on ad spend than my five and 10 ad set CBOs. But um, this one's pretty straightforward. Again, it's just three ad sets, $20 a day. And then if there's any ad sets that are doing badly, then you can just um, turn them off and then duplicate it and replace it with a different audience, just like is done here, uh, which you may not be able to see because this is all gonna be blurred. Okay, so just a couple things that you should know about CBOs, just things that I picked up on and that I wanna share with you. Um, one of those being that when you're testing with CBOs, you generally need to give it two to three days in order to optimize, especially with like, you know, a completely new audience or something like that. Um, but with scaling CBOs, it's generally very easy to see if you're gonna see good results because within the first like, you know, 20, 30, $40, um, you should get a pretty good idea um, whether that CBO is going to do well or not. If it is going to do well, then you're gonna see a lot of momentum, a lot of you know purchases, add the card, stuff like that. And um, if you have spent 20, 30, $40 with like little to no results, um, then generally that means it's not going to end up optimizing and that CBO is a failure. So just like with ad set budgets, Big audiences work much better, especially when it comes to scaling. I generally don't do interests that are under a million and I always tend to do better with my higher look like audiences, three, four and 5%. Generally when I have a scaling CBO, if there's an ad set that's in that that hasn't been profitable for three, usually two to three days, uh, then I'll go ahead and switch that out with another audience. Granted, you could just kill it but um, I really like constantly, you know, letting my CBOs evolve and reach new people. And that's really how they do the best. Um, you can't just give it like a small, de like defined audience and expect it to do well. Um, you got to keep adding new audiences in and like keep adding new ads in, which we'll talk about in a second. And really just keep switching it up in order to keep your results constant and consistent. So like I said, I generally like to switch out ads a little bit and basically I kind of just do this um, right when I'm first starting. Like when I'm first starting, I'll start with two ads in each ad set and then if there's like a clear winner of those two ads for all of my ad sets, then I'll go ahead and replace the loser with a different ad and I'll kind of repeat that process until I find two extremely profitable ads that are running at the same time. Now this isn't completely necessary, but it's kind of something that I've found to work better for me. Um, but if you only have one really good performing ad, 
um, or something like that, then you can just get by with one ad. However, if your CBO has been running for like a long time, like five plus days, spending you know $100 a day or more, um, then I would recommend that you at least try testing a different ad because the current one that you have is going to get saturated if you run it forever with the same audiences. So like I said earlier, CBOs are still pretty new and I'm still like, you know, testing and figuring them out. But um, from what I found, it's a lot easier to test with ad set budgets than it is for CBOs. Um, I think that because I feel like Facebook is just more effective with low budgets when it comes to ad set budgets and especially when it comes to testing when you're comparing one variable against another variable um, you really kind of want it to spend a very similar amount of money in order to compare those accurately um, so what I do is I well I'm doing about half and half right now uh, for testing I'm doing like half CBOs and half ad set budgets but um, those ad set budgets are still working a lot better for me when it comes to testing. And then for scaling, I'm generally doing like 90% CBOs. Like occasionally I'll duplicate an ad set and double the budget, but um, scaling with CBOs works a lot better than with ad set budgets. Now I really recommend that you test out the strategies that I just told you about if you have some audiences that are doing very well for you. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm super excited to share more CBO videos with you once I find stuff that consistently works. On your way out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next one.